Hello guys, if you have completed your B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering and you want to become a Marineer in Merchant Navy, then our this video is going to be very useful for you. In this video, I will tell you what is GME course, which is mandatory for Mechanical Engineers to join Merchant Navy as Marine Engineer. Then the more important thing I will tell you is GME sponsorship. What is a sponsorship and why it is so important for you. Then I will tell you list of top institutes from where you can do this GME course. And then I will compare these top institutes so that you can have a fair view about these institutes. So guys, this video is going to be very useful for you regarding your career as marine engineer. Before I start, let me give you three very important warnings which you must take care. By this time, you must be knowing that after completing your mechanical engineering, if you want to join Merchant Navy as marine engineer, you have to do one year course that is called GME course or graduate marine engineer course. So the first important thing you must know is that this institute from where you are planning to do your GME course must be approved by Director General of Shipping. Guys, this is very, very important and there should not be any second thought in your, in your mind regarding this requirement. Any institute which is not approved by the Director General of Shipping, you should never ever do any course from that institute. The second important thing you should know is that after completing your GME course, it is very difficult to get a job. There are so many institutes in the market and uh, the demand is less. So after completion of your course, it is almost impossible to get a job in good shipping company. That is why there is a, there is a system of sponsorship. A sponsorship means that the company takes your exam. If you are passed, then they give you a guarantee letter or job guarantee letter that after completion of your course, they will employ you in their company. So this system of getting your employment assured before taking admission, is called sponsorship. So the second most important thing you should know or you should keep it in your mind that you should never do the course without sponsorship. Guys, take my words. If you are doing GME course without job guarantee, then you are taking a very big risk. Third thing which you should know, uh, this is important but not very crucial, that the sponsoring company should be a reputed multinational shipping company. And this company should have at least good number of vessels in, uh, in their fleet and the fleet should be diversified. I mean to say they should have at least different type of ships in their company. So that when you start your career, you get an opportunity to work in different type of ships. That is the only concern. So guys, now you know what is GME course and uh, what is GME sponsorship. So now let us see what are the top institutes. So as I told you that the institutes must be approved by government of India or you can say director general of shippings. So to check that let's move to the director general of shipping website. So let's open director general of shipping website dgshipping.gov.in and then in this page we will go to maritime training and in drop down we will select admission in maritime training institute here a new page opens and then in the course section uh, you type graduate marine engineer course and search for the core institutes so as you search for the institutes you can see the list of 28 institutes comes up these are the 28 institutes which are approved by director general of shipping but guys out of these 28 institutes which are approved by director general of shipping very few institutes are there which can provide you a job most of the institutes will not be able to provide you a job so be very very careful don't go on the promises of the institutes that they will give you job in the campus many companies are coming in the campus be very very careful otherwise you will be in a big trouble as per my knowledge and experience i have made a list of top institutes as i told you in the starting of the uh, video in these institutes you can consider to take admission so first i will give you a list and then i will discuss one by one about these institutes that why i have taken them in my list so first institute is anglo eastern maritime academy then 
द ग्रेट ईस्टर्न इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेरी टाइम स्टडीज समुद्रा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेरी टाइम स्टडीज मेरी टाइम ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज एम टी आई इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेरी टाइम स्टडीज दैट इज आई एम एस गोवा सेवन आईलैंड मेरी टाइम ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट इंडियन मेरी टाइम यूनिवर्सिटी मुंबई पोर्ट कैंपस टी एस रहमान इंटरनेशनल मेरी टाइम इंस्टीट्यूट नोएडा कोचिंग शिप यार्ड लिमिटेड एंड गार्डन रीच शिप बिल्डर्स एंड इंजीनियर्स लिमिटेड सो दीज आर द इंस्टीट्यूट वेयर यू कैन कंसिडर टू टेक एडमिशन एंग्लो ईस्टर्न मेरी टाइम अकेडमी as you must be knowing that this institute is owned by one of the world's biggest shipping company anglo eastern shipping limited this company is hong kong based they have more than 700 ships in their company and this institute anglo eastern maritime academy is owned by anglo eastern shipping limited so if you get admission in this institute then definitely your job is 100% confirmed in anglo eastern shipping company so blindly you can choose this institute for admission second institute Institute is the Great Eastern Institute of Maritime Studies, guys. Great Eastern Shipping, you must be knowing. Great Eastern Shipping is India's biggest private sector company, and it is listed in stock market also. And this institute is owned by Great Eastern Shipping. So again, the same story that if you get admission in this institute, at least your job is confirmed in Great Eastern Shipping, which is a very good company. So okay. so that is why i have selected this institute in my list third institute is samudra institute of maritime studies there is a singapore based shipping company that is executive shipping company this is also a very good company they have number of ships in their fleet and diversified fleet diversified fleet they have and this institute sims is owned by executive shipping limited so again the same thing that if you take admission in this institute at least your job is confirmed in executive shipping company next institute in my list is mti mumbai that is maritime training institute this institute is also owned by shipping corporation of india that is a government of india company which you must be knowing they have a good number of ships diversified fleet they have so if you get admission in mti mumbai at least your job is confirmed in shipping corporation of india so you don't have any problem of getting a job after that comes ims goa institute of maritime studies goa guys this is the only institute in my top 5 list which is not run by any shipping company but their campus placement has been very good and before taking admission in the institute only they introduce you to some companies then you give the test of those companies and if you are selected then only you take admission in the institute so it means in the campus itself there are many companies coming which take your examination before taking admission and they give you the job guarantee letter so you should consider this institute only again i am emphasizing only if you get the sponsorship before taking admission so ims goa is also a very good institute after that there is seven island maritime training institute this is a new institute but it is owned by seven seven island shipping company this is again is a indian company they have around 25 ships in their company so okay if you get admission in their institute then chances are there that okay you will get job in their company if you are not selected by any other company so that is also a safe game for you then comes in our list is ts rahman this is also a good institute which is run by indian seafarer union this is like a trust kind of institute here also many reputed companies come for a sponsorship and if you get a sponsorship then you should consider to take admission in this institute also but again guys i am telling you you should not take admission in any institute without getting sponsorship because you see all these institutes which i have discussed their fees is in the range of 6 to 7 lakh which is a very heavy amount for one year so if you take admission in this in these institutes and you don't get a job after completion of the course then it is useless be wise and take admission only when you are sure about your job now comes is indian maritime university mumbai port campus it is a government of india institutes that is why their fees is very less but this institute is very reputed many companies come there for candidate selection they don't provide a sponsorship but definitely after completion of the course maximum number of candidates they get a job from this institutes so if you want to take a risk of taking admission without a sponsorship then you should choose this institute because the fees is less institute is reputed and it is a government of india owned institute in private institutes i will never suggest that you take admission without a sponsorship so you can consider 
IMU Mumbai Port Campus. After that comes IMI Noida, International Maritime Institute Noida and Cochin Shipyard. Guys, they all claim that they have a very good campus, they give very good training and many companies coming to their campus for campus selection. But again, I will say you can see their fees is very high and you have to spend a lot of money to study there. And if your job is not assured, then it is your choice. I would say it is not a good decision. So if you want to take admission in these two institutes, then first confirm whether you will get a job or not and don't go on promises. It should be confirmed in written by the company, not by the institute. And the last institute is Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers. Guys, this is, I have uh, taken it in my list because of its fees. Its fees is only 1,82,000 rupees. And if you compare to other institutes, their fees is very, very less. Otherwise, there is no other advantage in this institute so finally if you are so desperate to take admission in any of the gme course and you are not getting a sponsorship then this is the institute which you can consider here you will get admission you will get a training you will get a certificate then you have to search for the job but you should keep it in your mind that you have spent only two lakh rupees whereas in other private institutes you are spending almost six to seven lakh rupees in the last Guys, again, I will emphasize that out of 28 approved institutes, in my list, there are only 11 institutes which you can consider to take admission. In other institutes, it is on your own risk. It is very, very risky. I'm telling you, after spending so much of money and doing a four-year engineering and after that one year again, a course, and you don't get a job, then your career will be destroyed. So guys, it's your career, it's your life. So be very, very careful careful while choosing an institute and if you want any kind of guidance you can call me on 9875305872 we will definitely help you out